टुडे इज द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ नवरात्रि एंड वेन आई फाउंड दैट द रेन वॉज देयर एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स एंड विष्णु माया वॉज सजेस्टिंग समथिंग आई जस्ट कंसल्टेड द कैलेंडर एंड विल बी अमेज टू नो दैट इन द कैलेंडर इट इज रिटन दैट टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव It's not auspicious. It's not auspicious. After 5:45 only, the right thing starts. So just imagine, by calculation, how it was correct. At 5:45, we had to have this puja. After 5:45. that is the first day of navratri starts in italy or in europe at five, after 5 so it is something one must understand that the chaitanya is working out everything and is giving all the suggestions because i had not at all seen the uh, what you call the tithi but i just felt that i said that we'll have it in the evening and when i said it i said let's see this and then it was there's so many things we have to see that whatever has been revealed to you you can verify it for example i had said long time back that muladhar chakra is made out of car- carbonate and if you see it from left to the right right to the left left side you see nothing but a swastika so now you see from left to the right then you see omkara and once you see from down below upward you see the alpha and omega now see christ has said that i am the alpha and the omega so this swastika becomes omkara also becomes christ for example when you are raising the kundalini on the center half you can see that on the center half if there is a catch you have to take name of the jagadamba unless and until you take her name it won't open also when i am clearing out the center heart i have to also say now i am in reality jagadamba and then the jagadamba will be in you away so now you have verified it much more than the scientists have the scientists are going from outside and they are not conclusive at all now if you have one problem they will work it out another problem they work out problems but they don't know the basics what the problems are and where lies the solution why you can see that once the amba is kundalini who is the reflection of the holy ghost of the adi shakti is it when she rises through these different chakras she gives them power because she is the power she is the shakti she is the desire power of sarash she is the complete power of sarash and so she gives the power totally to every chakra by which all these chakras are enlightened and all the deities are awake supposing we have no power of life will be like dead people so these centers when they receive this power this shakti then they are awake now you have seen it you can do it yourself it's all tangible you can verify it i have told you that she resides on the heart center now see how heart center is placed also very interesting 
while he is Jagadamba, but the Amba means the pure form of power besides Indra, triangular form, like Kundalini. But her form, which is Jagadamba, where she is the mother of the universe, she resides on the heart center. Now this heart center is very important. When I have already told you this, that when a child is about children, twelve years of age, this center produces the gana. Ganas are the workers on the left hand side. They are like, you can say, Saint Michael uh, is their leader. But their uh, king is Ganapati, Ganesh. So first she, she has done is the Ghatasthapana. Ghatasthapana means uh, you have done here now, this is the Ghatasthapana. This is the Kumbha. Now this Kumbha she has established first. That is the triangular form. Now this is her first work, that to establish this your Muladha. So she established within you is innocence. She established innocence within you to begin with. So she has put this Ghatta in which she is staying as Kundalini. So the first is that uh, to establish the Kundalini in the triangular bone and then to establish the Ganesh. This is the first work by which whatever she is going to create now, all the universes, the earth, everything, Whatever she is going to create has to be filled with innocence. Now if you see the stones, they are innocent. If you hit the stone, you will get the hit, otherwise it doesn't come up and hit. They are innocent. If you see the rivers, they are innocent. Everything that is being created as matter is innocent. It is not cunning, it is not uh, manipulative, it is not aggressive, nothing of the kind. They are innocent. Means they are under the complete order of God Almighty. They do not have their own free will to do what they like. Whatever is done is with the absolutely under complete command of God all. And so they are, we can say, they are innocent. So she has created all these things just for you <coughs> to be created <coughs> and ultimately to get your self life, to have meaning for your life, to get connected to this all-pervading power, to enter into the kingdom of God. All is her work. So you can say nine times she came and the tenth time she is supposed to give realization to all of But at the tenth time, all these three powers are joined together. That's why it's called Sivunatrita. That's why Buddha said Matraya. It's three mothers put together. So this power, when it starts acting, it has the complete control over all your three channels and seven centers, complete control. As if without the permission or without the taking the name of this power, you cannot achieve it. Now try to assume your position. Try to feel it. Yesterday, of course, when the last song started, it 
did penetrate, I know, into many souls, to many hearts, that unique joy, which we call as Niranand. I did feel it yesterday. But keep it up, it's just to be kept very safely into your kumbhas is the Kundalini and she's the one who has come up. So my idea was that today is not only the worship of the kumbha where the Kundalini resides but the kumbha becomes like a flower pot. It's like that, that has happened. And then it can also, as somebody said that mother, these flower pots also can become uh, table lamps. I said, see now, you have said it. So the kumbha becoming flowers and flowers becoming light. And the light with fragrance. I hope you'll understand my vision and you'll stand by me. You'll come up to that. I depend on you entirely for my vision. We have to change this whole world into a beautiful place. And for that, not much sacrifice is needed. You are already blessed. You don't have to do much. Only thing is keep your attention on the source of power. So now we are coming to the point of puja because there are so many new Sajogis who might not have known what is a puja. Now, as it is now, you all believe that I am Adi Shakti and you have proof of it. Puja is one of the way you can have the proof of it much more because when you are doing the puja, my deities which are within my chakras, they get excited and they feel happy and they want to emit more vibrations. And when they start emitting more vibrations, when they start emitting more vibrations, then you are surprised that how after puja you get so drenched and you just feel elevated and at a much higher level. Of course, it is true that uh, during the puja time you feel very much elevated. For some time you can keep it up. Some people definitely retain it. But some people go up and down like a yo-yo. They don't have that capacity to retain it. That is why one has to meditate in thoughtless awareness to keep up that status, that higher status. So this is how it is, that it makes no difference. But it does, in a way, what importance you give to everything that you want to do. It's very important. It's the complete attention, dedication, and the complete importance that you give to anything that you do. It's very important. If you do not give it the highest priority, it doesn't work. If it is just by the way, it doesn't work. So it is important to understand that if you have to gain anything in this puja, you have to give it the highest priority. And then just before puja, if your mind is telling you or doubting, just tell him to stop, because that mind can act against you. So for the puja, you should be all prepared in a way, in a receptive way and receive.